is Trivia for Kids, where it's not just for adults anymore. Hello, everybody. Hey there, everyone. Thanks for joining us for episode 41 of Trivia for Kids. I'm Casey. And I'm Quinn. And Quinn, you smell like corn. It's corn. It's corn. You love that song. You and your friends in your class always sing that corn song. But for real, you smell like corn. Yeah, we were at a uh, we were at a apple orchard today, and they had a well, giant you, pit of corn. Wouldn't you smell like apples? Yeah, but they had a giant pit of corn, and we were just messing around in it, and it had like things that you could find in it. And we went in there, and it got everything messy. Our clothes are messy. Our hair are messy. Our legs feel cracked. Well, why I smell explain that. why corn would make you messy? Why is that? Because it has all that dust in it. Yeah, dry corn has a lot of corn dust. And so Quinn and Ren and Brooks played in this giant, giant corn pit, and they came out full of this white powdery dust. And you smell like corn. It's funny. But we had fun at the apple orchard. That was a did, yeah. that was a fun fall activity that we did today. They had zip lining and a giant chessboard and like a rubber duck race. A petting zoo. Yeah, petting zoo. They have some of these bouncy, bubbly yeah, things. They were called like bounce pillows or something. Oh, yeah, bounce pillows. But there pillows. was also like a basketball shooting thingy. All kinds of stuff. We had a yeah. great day. Mm-hmm. It was nice weather, so we didn't have it to was, it was. bundle up or anything. So that was really fun. We mm-hmm. checked our checked our big fall activity off the list, didn't we? Yep. Well, do you want to hear a joke? Sure. We got a funny little ocean joke from two sisters named Pia and Lucy. Lay it on me. How many tickles does it take to make an octopus giggle? Seven. Ten tickles! Get it? Like tentacles? (laughs) That's a great joke. Yeah, it's really good. Thank you, guys. All right. Who's ready for some trivia? Yo. Yo. I mean, soy. No, wait, that, that's I am. Uh, well, I am would work. It is yo, right? Yo, soy? That's I am. Yeah. Does that work like that? How about just... I said yo. How about just me? We are trivia time. Let's go. Me. <laughs> Here's how the show works. Trivia for kids consists of five rounds with seven questions each. We will announce the answers at the end of each round. Each new round will have a different category. After the fifth round, we will have the final exam, which will test you on the toughest questions we have covered in the previous rounds. Everyone ready? Let's get started. Round number one, the category is Roblox. Thank you to listener Aubrey for this category idea. Thanks, Aubrey. Question one. What is the default color of Roblox avatars? Question two. What is the maximum limit of friends on Roblox? Question three. How many hats can you wear? Question four. What was Roblox originally known as? Question five. The name Roblox is a combination of which two words? Question six. In which year was Roblox released? Question seven. What is the name of the in-game currency?
And now the answer is to round one. So I bet you were glad to see that Aubrey gave us this category idea. Yeah, it's a, I like it. I like a few specific games. There's a hide and seek extreme that I kind of like. I like Brookhaven and I like speed draw and I like epic mini games. Is this all part of Roblox? Yes, You've they already- have like... A billion were, games. I thought you were naming other games. But yes, you love Roblox. You and I Ren do. play in the car when we're driving places, don't you? Mm-hmm. All right. Question one. What is the default color of Roblox avatars? Gray. That's weird. But then they can change colors or how does that work? Yeah, yeah. You can pick a different skin color. That's just the default skin. Oh, so the, can they be like any color of the rainbow or is it like yeah. real skin colors? My skin color is either... But like it's a it's a gross colored teal, like a dark oh, a gross teal. colored teal. That sounds nice. And that, sounds lovely. It's like a dark teal or a light pink or a is it? A, I think a light pink. Hmm. Question two: What is the maximum limit of friends you can have on Roblox? Two hundred. What is your maximum limit of friends? I have Ren and your cousin Ethan and your cousin Emma in Italy, and that's it. Mm-hmm. Well. That's enough friends, I think, yeah. for internet chatting yeah. with people. Yes. Question three. How many hats can you wear in Roblox? Three. Question four. What was Roblox originally known as? Dinoblox. So you could have been playing Cave Game and Dinoblox instead of Minecraft and Roblox. <laughs> cave Game. Cave Game. <laughs> I like that. Question five. The name Roblox is a combination of which two words? Robot and blocks. I wonder why they picked robot. I, for some reason, when I hear the word Roblox, I think roadblocks, but you're not building any roads in Roblox, right? Yeah, I, I just think of a Roblox character whenever I think of robots. And they're not robots? Mm, I don't know. Hmm. Well... Yeah. Maybe when they were originally starting this game, they thought they were going to be robots. Maybe. Maybe. Question six. In which year was Roblox released? 2006. You weren't alive. I was not. Question seven. What is the name of the in-game currency? Robux. Give me some of them Robux. Slap those big Robux on me. How do you how do you get Robux? You have to purchase them with real money. Oh, you I don't, don't have, have any Robux? No. <laughs> Boy, you got a lame mom, Quinn. Sorry. No, I don't. <laughs> Round two. The category is Ocean Life. This category idea comes from the same two sisters who gave us that awesome octopus joke. Pia and Lucy. Thanks, girls. Question one. How many tentacles does a squid have? Question two. What is the tail fin of a fish called? Question three. Which marine mammal has the thickest coat of fur? Question four. How does a sea cucumber defend itself? Question five. What is a mass of jellyfish floating together called? Question six, true or false? The gender of a baby sea turtle is determined by the temperature of the ocean water during mating season. Question seven, which whale is actually a type of dolphin?
Round two answers. Question one. How many tentacles does a squid have? Technically, the answer is two tentacles. They have two tentacles and eight arms. But if you said ten, we'll give you that as well. Question two. What is the tail fin of a fish called? The caudal fin. The caudal fin is the tail fin. The dorsal fin is the back fin. The anal fin is the bottom fin. And the pectoral fin is on the side of the body. Wow, they have very scientific names. They do. I've heard of caudal fin, but I didn't realize that that was the one on the very back. Reminds me of cuddle. But like, it's not cuddle. If you cuddle something. Caudal. Caudal. Question three. Which marine mammal has the thickest coat of fur? Sea otters. They have the thickest coat of fur up to one million hairs per square inch. Are you serious? Like, That's an what inch? I read. Yeah, a an, million? An we don't even on, have a million on, hairs on our head, do we? I don't know. I don't know how many we have, but think of how big a square inch is. Like, Not, really small. Like, you could just hold your finger out and be like, okay, that's about that size. One million hairs. That is crazy. But sea otters, adorable. They're very cute. Have you ever seen them lay on their backs and hold hands? Oh, Aww. man. There is not much cuter in the in the animal world than that. <laughs> Question four. How does a sea cucumber defend itself? It throws up. When a sea cucumber is threatened, it spits up or ejects all of its internal organs in an effort to distract the predator. It then swims away while the predator sits there confused, trying to figure out what just happened. So wait, wait, wait. It like spits out its heart? <laughs> right, everything. It just like throws up everything that's inside of itself. And the predator goes like, what? what? What's going on here? Is it still alive after? Yeah. Then it just sucks it all back in. And goes on with its merry day. Cool, huh? Yes. And gross. And gross. <laughs> Question five. What is a mass of jellyfish floating together called? A smack. I love like these, a school of fish. I love these groups of animal <laughs> questions. I think they're so interesting. A smack of jellyfish. A stack of giraffes. No, a tower. A tower. Question <laughs> six. True or false? The gender of a baby sea turtle is determined by the temperature of the ocean water during the mating season. False. The gender of sea turtles, like many other turtles, is determined by the temperature in the nest. Cooler incubation temperatures produce male hatchlings, and warmer incubation temperatures produce female hatchlings. Temperatures that fluctuate between the two extremes will produce a mix of male and female hatchlings. How crazy is that? Imagine they only have cold water around there and they have their babies only in cold water. There'd be a lot, so lot lots of, of boys. No, well, that means that there wouldn't be many sea turtles left then. That's true. Because the ladies do all the work. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Unless you're a seahorse. <laughs> or a penguin. The dads help a lot in them, too. Yeah, they anyway. do. The moms go and get the food, though. Well, that's a great point. Question seven. Which whale is actually a type of dolphin? A killer whale, or orca. The name killer whale derives from their original name, whale killers, given to them by the sailors who saw them hunting whales. Over time, the name eventually switched around. Despite their name, a killer whale is actually a dolphin. Huh. But isn't that interesting? Much, they're much bigger than dolphins. Yeah, they are. But isn't that interesting that the people who saw them first started or saw them kill whales. So they thought that they were whale killers and killer whales, but then they were actually dolphins. Anyway, that's an interesting story. I never knew that about them or how. I didn't either. Or how. I thought that they Even were... though they're called killer whales, they're actually dolphins. Like, why is that? Well. I wasn't sure whether they were a shark or a whale or a dolphin or a whatever. Well, they're a dolphin. Round three. The category is German. Thank you to listener Isabel for this category. Thanks, Isabel. Question one. How do you say thank you in German? Question two. 
Question two, what fruity soft drink originated in Germany as a result of World War II? Question three, what is the capital of Germany? Question four, how do you count to three in German? Question five, what do most German people call Germany? Question six. What are the three colors in the German flag? Question seven. In English, the letter W makes a W sound, but in German, what sound does the letter W make? Round three answers. Question one. How do you say thank you in German? Danke. So German is so hard. I was trying, when I was trying to write these questions and try to bring the language in, I am not that familiar with the German language, but man, it is not easy. So <laughs> I would look up like, how do you say this in German? And it was so hard. I was like, oh, I can't even pronounce that. And Ron's gone wrong. Barney's grandma lives with him. Her name is Donka. Oh, her name is Donka? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> it is, thank you. Question two. What fruity soft drink originated in Germany as a result of World War II? Fanta. Due to a trade embargo that prevented importing Coca-Cola syrup into Germany, the head of Coca-Cola in the country decided to create a domestic product for the market using available leftover products like whey and apple pumice. It's the second oldest brand of Coca-Cola company and it's the second most popular drink outside of the United States. It's consumed 130 million times every day around the world. Whoa. What do you think of Fanta? It's good. It's very good. I remember there used to be like a commercial and it was like, Wanna Fanta? Don't you wanna wanna Fanta? It was really catchy. I don't know. It was probably before <laughs> your time, but it was like these women dressed up in the colors of the, the pop um, cans and they were there dancing. Like, wanna Fanta? Don't, don't you wanna wanna, wanna, wanna yeah. Fanta? <laughs> That's it. What's your favorite flavor of Fanta? Ooh, what are all of them? There's orange, grape, strawberry, and I think pineapple. There's a yellow can. I'm not sure if it's, is it pineapple or lemon? I'm not sure. Mm. But my great grandpa, we would always have orange Fanta at his house. So I'm going to go with orange Fanta. Great grandpa does love orange pop. Yep. He does. Question three. What is the capital of Germany? Berlin. Question four. How do you count to three in German? Eins, zwei, nope, I said it wrong already. Eins, zwei, drei. Question five. What do most German people call Germany? Deutschland. English speakers refer to the region as Germany, while German speakers refer to Germany as Deutschland. The difference is only a matter of language, while the meaning of Deutschland and Germany are identical. Well, it's just... <laughs> Deutschland. I, I was trying to read... Why? And it just said like Deutschland means original name. So from the beginning of Germany, it was always Deutschland. And then I think, I don't know why they're not like Deutschens instead of Germans, but then with Deutsch. Germans, then people just started calling it Germany because that made more sense than Germans De and Deutschland. So I don't know. <laughs> it was just like a preference thing. Yeah. Question six. What are the three colors in the German flag? Black, red, and yellow. It has three equal horizontal stripes. Black on top, then red, then yellow. Nice. I could actually draw this flag. <laughs> Question seven. In English, the letter W makes a was sound, 
But in German, what sound does the letter W make? A V sound. Which is why it's zwei instead of zwei. zwei. Right. Or like Dirk Nowitzki, who played basketball in the United States. He's German and his name is actually Dirk Nowitzki in Germany. Dirk, Sno- Dirk Nowitzki? <laughs> Sorry, I'm not good at Or like stuff. Volkswagen, they'd say Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> kind of fun I to love say. that. Is that from Germany? Volkswagen. Volkswagen. Like a vampire. I want to suck your blood. But vampire. <laughs> oh, I want. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> that is like a vampire. Round four. The category is cars. This category comes from listener Ethan. Thanks, Ethan. Question one. In 1974, Volkswagen hit a hole in one with what popular car model? Question two. Which Nissan model was the world's best selling plug in electric car in 2013, 2014, and 2016? Question three, true or false? The inventor of the cruise control was blind. Question four, what animal is on the Porsche logo? Question five. What color were all Ferraris originally? Question six. What type of car do you have to see in order to reach out and hit someone while yelling, slug bug? Question seven. Which car is Lightning McQueen modeled after? And now the answer is to round four. Question one. In 1974, Volkswagen hit a hole in one with what popular car model? The Golf. The VW Golf has been in production since its start in 1974 and remains a very popular compact car today. Cute, huh? Uh-huh. A Volkswagen Golf. Yeah, I was just going to say that. Volkswagen Golf. <laughs> Golf. Question two. Which Nissan model was the world's best-selling plug-in electric car in 2013, 2014, and 2016? The Nissan Leaf. With almost half a million cars sold between 2010 and 2019, the LEAF is the world's best-selling electric car, with its largest market being the United States. So have you ever heard of a LEAF? It's kind of a cute name for a car. A golf and a LEAF. Cute. (laughs) Cute. Question three. True or false? The inventor of the cruise control was blind. Hard to believe, but that's true. Modern cruise control was invented in 1948 by mechanical engineer Ralph Teeter, who became blind at age five in an accident. His idea came from the frustration of riding in a car driven by his lawyer, who kept speeding up and then slowing down as he talked. Weird. So do you know what cruise control is? Not entirely. Okay, so let's say the speed limit is 65 miles per hour, and I'm going to go on a straight road that's going to be that same speed limit for a really long time. So there's a button on a car called the cruise control that you can get up to 65 miles an hour or whatever speed you desire and push the cruise control button and it'll hold your speed at that same speed without having to keep pushing in the gas pedal all the time. Oh, that's smart. Uh, So it's controlling your cruise. Question four. What animal is on the Porsche logo? A horse. So there's another... I think so. So that's another thing. Is it Porsche or Porsche? I've heard it both ways. I don't know. I think it's, again, just a preference thing. There's a lot of words that 
-hmm. depend on, yeah, just the person, I guess. Question five. What color were all the Ferraris originally? Red. Red was the color that the International Automobile Federation assigned to all Italian Grand Prix race cars in the early years of auto racing. Don't get me wrong, and don't judge me. I did not know that a Ferrari was Italian. No? Why would I judge you for that? There's not a, there's not a lot of Ferraris. Well, there's probably not a lot of Ferraris in Mom, America. Mom, we just passed like a billion Ferraris today. Nope, those were Corvettes. Those were Corvettes. <laughs> Ferra wow. Ferraris are are much, much more rare in America than Corvettes. Oh, okay. Question six. What type of car do you have to see in order to reach out and hit someone while yelling, Slug bug! A Volkswagen Beetle! Volkswagen Beetle! Volkswagen I just, we just talked about this for the first time ever when we had, when we were carpooling home from volleyball with your friends, when we saw a Volkswagen Beetle and we said slug bug, and you guys had never really heard of that before. Well, I know what a slug bug is. I did not know that you did that though. Yeah, also, that was. You also taught us that a car with one headlight, you had to say, you have to hit the roof and say, padiddle. Padiddle. <laughs> padiddle. -iddle. Question seven. What car is Lenny McQueen modeled after? A Chevy Corvette. While McQueen is not modeled directly after a specific make and model, the artist mixed and matched elements of the Chevy Corvette C6 and the Corvette C1. So they kind of mixed two different versions of the same car and made it like McQueen? Yes. So they were like, ooh, we like this about the C6. Ooh, we like this about the C1. We'll just put a little of this, a little of that, and poof. Round five. The category is dolls. A shout out to Lily for this category idea. Thanks, Lily. Question one. What type of doll is a plastic rag doll and was originally called a bitty buttons? Question two. Barbie has three sisters. Can you name at least two of them? Question three. What kind of doll is a figurine with a disproportionately large head mounted on a spring so that it jumps up and down, often made as a caricature of a famous person? Question four. What is the name of the extremely realistic vinyl doll that is made to look like a human baby? Question five. What doll was created when a man drew a face on his daughter's worn rag doll in 1915? Question six. What is the line of 18-inch dolls portraying 8 to 14-year-old boys and girls of a variety of ethnicities, faiths, and social classes from different time periods throughout history? Question seven. What type of dolls were inspired by horror movies, sci-fi, thriller fiction, folklore, myths, and pop culture, centering around the adventures of the teenage children of monsters and other mythical creatures attending a high school of the same name. And now the answers to round five. Question one. What type of doll is a plastic rag doll and was originally called a Biddy Buttons. La la loopsie. Biddy Buttons was designed to teach kids that everybody is unique in their own special way. The new La la loopsie brand promotes the idea that old things can become new again and everything can be repurposed and, and nothing should ever go to waste. 
At release, the original eight dolls were Crumbs Sugar Cookie, Jewel Sparkles, Peanut Big Top, Bia Spells a Lot, Mittens Fluff and Stuff, Dot Starlight, Pillow Feather Bed, and Spot Splatter Splash. <laughs> Fun splatter splash. That's definitely my favorite. I like pillow feather I like, bed. I like mittens fluff and stuff too. <laughs> Those are cute. But I really, yes. I really like pillow. Fl- Do you know what Lala Loopsie dolls look like? Yeah. They're like, they have button eyes and. Yeah. Question two. Barbie has three sisters. Can you name at least two? Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea. I knew about Skipper. I didn't know that they were sisters. I didn't know about Stacy, and I knew Chelsea was sisters with her though. Does Barbie have any brothers? I don't think so. No, does she like is Ken her brother? No, nope, Ken's her boyfriend. Like Question three: What kind of doll is a figurine with a disproportionately large head mounted on a spring so that it jumps up and down, often made as a caricature of a famous person? A bobblehead. What's your favorite bobblehead from a show that you love to watch? I'm not sure. Dwight Schrute has a bobblehead. All right. On his desk. It is Dwight Schrute. When Dad and I were dating, I bought him a Dwight Schrute bobblehead for <laughs> Valentine's Day one year. Oh, man, we we're cool. <laughs> <laughs> Question four. What is the name of the extremely realistic vinyl doll that is made to look like a human baby a reborn doll in fact these dolls are so realistic that police officers have broken windows in cars to try to rescue them in certain situations (laughs) that's not funny those dolls are realistic our neighbors are your friends have some of those and they're they're like scary real when they carry them around, it's sort of, yeah, it's so out of place. Like, like a small child is carrying a real baby. There's a baby lying down on the seat. Oh, no. <laughs> there's a baby out in the lawn. <laughs> Question five. What doll was created when a man drew a face on his daughter's worn rag doll in 1915? Raggedy Ann. And Raggedy Ann's raggedy brother's name is? Raggedy Paul. <laughs> you don't know? No. I don't. Raggedy Andy. Oh. But it's fun to say Raggedy Ann. Yeah, and Raggedy, Raggedy Andy. Raggedy Ann. Raggedy Paul. Nope. <laughs> I like that a lot. Question six. What is the line of 18-inch dolls portraying 8 to 14-year-old boys and girls of a variety of ethnicities, faith, and social classes from different time periods throughout history? American Girl Dolls. How come it's not? There are, there are American boy dolls. Yep, but the brand is American Girl Dolls. <laughs> you have... I have, the, yeah. You I have, have knockoff American Girl Dolls. But you do have some 18-inch dolls that really? aren't real what American are... Girls. Oh. Same idea, though. Yeah. Question seven. What type of dolls were inspired by horror movies, sci-fi, thriller fiction folklore, myths, and popular culture centering around the adventures of the teenage children of monsters and other mythical creatures attending a high school of the same name. Monster High Dolls. Did you ever play with these? We have a few that are like, we have like two of them that are like Barbies, but I don't know that we have them. Because one is, they're they're like Dracula's yeah. daughter and werewolf's oh, daughter, daughter and... Like famous, famous monsters, but then it's their kids, right? Isn't oh, that what Monster yeah, High I is? I know a few of their names. There's like Frankie Stein. Like well, whose daughter would that be? Frankenstein's. Frankenstein. There's Cleo Denial. Oh, Cleopatra's daughter, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Draculola, which is Dracula's right. daughter. That's kind of, that's kind of clever. Uh-huh. And they're kind of cute dolls. Yeah, like Descendants. Yeah, like Descendants. Similar. And now it's time for the final exam. Now remember, you've heard these questions in the previous rounds, but these were the hardest ones we've had. So use your memory and try to think back to what the answers are. Question one, what is the default color of Roblox avatars? Gray. 
Question two. What is a mass of jellyfish floating together called? A smack. Question three. Which Nissan model was the world's best-selling plug-in electric car in 2013, 2014, and 2016? The Nissan Leaf. Question four. What are the names of Barbie's three sisters? Skipper, Stacy, and Chelsea. Question five. What do most German people call Germany? Deutschland. Question six. What is the tail fin of a fish called? The caudal fin. Question seven. What animal is on the Porsche or Porsche logo? A horse. A horse is a horse, of course, of course. Have you ever heard of that? No. I don't know what that's from. Do you like horses? I do. You know what horses like? Me. Corn. You know what you smell like? Corn. corn. <laughs> you better go take a shower. I blanket like corn. It's cold in this room. Yeah, we better go get cleaned up for the night. It is almost bedtime. We got school tomorrow, girl. I don't want to go to school tomorrow. I want to have another long weekend. Nope, sorry. Tomorrow is Monday. It is time for bed. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Have a great week. Yep, thank you, guys. Please follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Trivia for Kids Podcast. And if you have a question idea or even an entire category, please email us at triviaforkidspodcast at gmail.com.